Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Now you probably recognize these, clo these clothes. I just finished filming the review first impression with Jack and Hill palette volume two, and I created two makeup looks, one on each eye, and um, I'm going to put link down below, up here to show you what I think about if you're interested to hear that. But I didn't have chance to play with a lot of nude shades here and today I want to create my everyday natural soft glam makeup look my version of that the makeup look that I, that I will wear every day usually wear every day with different sim different palette but similar colors and if you're interested to see how these are going to work on my eyes then please keep on watching Okay, so I am going to use this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab. This is the first collab of brushes, number J, number 30, big blending brush. And I'm going to go into this shade called Perfectionist. Perfectionist, I think I pronounced that right. Going in with that color. It's this, these are powdery, and this is a big blending brush. I just want to, I use this brush because I want this soft transition. Now I did prep my eyes with something I never do. It's Tarte Shape Tape. Why? It's because I just removed these big colorful makeup looks, very colorful makeup looks. And um, I had to cover the, cover my eyelids with something that had coverage and I use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because my Wet n Wild, con con Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer doesn't have any pigmentation that will hide the skin because my eyes look so pinky afterwards. They are going to transfer on the eyelids. It doesn't bother me but I had to cover everything with some concealer and say my makeup it wasn't the easiest thing now this is working nice i tr used other shades in the crease with other brushes that didn't really work uh, but now we go with this fluffy brush i'm going to change and use another blending brush i want to go in with this comfort zone shade in the crease this one here dip up the crease not going to go up as high as I did with that other shade. See how this is blending. And I did set my concealer. I just want to say that too. So far, this is going better than the video before when I review this palette the crease shade didn't really want to blend on top of the colorful and maybe that's the reason I don't know we learn on the way but when I stopped filming that video I had to go in and try to make a makeup look that I always create every day I'm going to take another blending brush and more like a flat blending brush and I'm going to go in in this shade thick skin this one at the end I'm going to place it here and work it uh, these are blending nice I want to dark up everything, so I'm going to go in with in and take this honeymoon. I think this one is a little bit darker. Maybe not, but we'll see. Maybe I will blend a little bit black if I want to intense it more, make it more intense. Now this is more like orange. Okay, so I'm going to take another smaller brush and go with the black one. Take this small and go in with black one just to deep up a little bit the corners. And 
and on top of the black one I'm going to go back with this thick skin on top of this black and blend those two together. Okay, not bad. I feel like I miss a dark brown shade in this palette. I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go in, in with this shade GRWM, compromise it. Try it with a flat brush, see if that works. Not at all. Let's go in with fingers. Oh, this has interesting texture. I like this one. Ride or diamonds on the rest of the lid. They are feel they feel nice. Oh, this one is interesting texture. Looks like wet. I like that. Then I'm going to go in with the homeboy. No, grateful. This shade here and smudge it on the lower lash line. I don't think I've used that shade before. And then we're going to go into this white, white shade in the palette. Certify the first shade and kind of pop it right here. So I'm going to finish with some mascara and I'll be back. So guys, sorry, I feel like I forgot my mic uh, to put my mic on when I did the second part of the video. But uh, I like this palette for the neutral shades too. Now I have mixed feelings about this palette. Some shades worked, uh, the colorful, some didn't. You have to watch that video if you haven't to see which shade worked for me and which didn't. But these that I use today work beautifully. It created a nice, soft, glam makeup look. Something that I like and wear every day to my work. I do wear colorful colors too. I mean, I love makeup. But um, yeah, I don't know. If you're more into those nude shades, maybe you will go and take her first volume palette, which is more neutral shades and some pop of blues. This is a beautiful palette. But I think if you already have bright colors, something similar to this, you can skip this one. Um, I do like it. I do enjoy it. I will continue to play with it. Some shades are working better than the others. But if this, is it something you need to have? Honestly, no. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.